Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the losses and efficiency of the DC generator, this part 5. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification, soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the problem, a long shun compound generator delivers a full load current of 800 ampere at 500 voltage. The sun field resistance is 100 ohm. The magnetic and mechanical losses combined are equal to 12 kilowatt. If the full load efficiency is 92 percentage, calculate first one armature resistance RA, series field resistance given that RA equal to 2 RAC and load corresponding to the maximum efficiency. So, we need to find the armature resistance and series field resistance, but the relation is given R A equal to 2 R C and load, cor load corresponding to the maximum efficiency. Now, we will see the what are the data available. So, the load current is given I L equal to 800 ampere. The terminal voltage is given 500 voltage R S H equal to 100 ohm, the sun field resistance. The efficiency given as 92 percentage magnetic and mechanical loss together is given as 12 kilowatt that is also called as a stray loss 12 kilowatt mean 12 into 10 to the power 3 watts right so these are all the given data first we will find the output power v into il terminal voltage into load current these two data are available so 500 into 800 the load current is 800 and the terminal voltage is 500 so that 500 into 800 we will get is 4 lakhs 4 lakhs watts so from this output power already input power is given so from this output power the efficiency is available and output power also available so that we can calculate the input power efficiency equal to output power by input power this efficiency value is given output power also calculated from this we can able to find the input input power so that in interchange these two so that input power equal to output power divided by the efficiency so output power is the 4 lakhs divided by efficiency is given as 92 percentage so it is 0.92 right so that we got 4 lakhs 34,782 into 6087 watts so, output power always greater than the input power is always greater than the output power, right. So, we are getting 4 lakhs 34,792 782 watts as a input power. Now, from this input power and output power, we can easily calculate the losses because input is given that is converted into output and some losses will be there. So, input equal to output plus losses. So, that losses equal to input minus output. Right. So, input is 4,34,782.6087 minus 4 lakhs output. So, what we got 34,782.6087 watts this is the total loss. Right. So, from the input power and output power the total loss is calculated. So, our aim is to find the armature resistance. So, before that we will find the sun field current ISH equal to V divided by RSH because of long shun the same voltage is applied across the sun field. So, the V equal to 500 RSH is given 100. So, that is 500 divided by 100 it is 5 ampere. Similarly, the armature current IA is nothing but sum of IL and ISH because of long shun the armature current divided into the load current and sun field current by adding these two we can get the armature current. So, 800 plus 5. Right, the load current 800 armature current the sun field current 5 ampere so 800 plus 5 equal to 805 ampere so now we calculated the armature current so from this by using that we can go for armature resistance so the total loss equal to what are the total losses armature copper loss sun field copper loss series field copper loss magnetic and mechanical losses so these are all the losses available right so the armature copper loss is i a square into r a sun field copper loss is i s square into r s h series field copper loss is 
ISC square into RSC plus this mechanical stray loss is already given 12,000 that is 12, 12 kilowatt that is 12, 12 into 10 to the power 3. This total loss also we already calculated 34,782.6087 right. So that is equal to this IA is known 805 the armature current is 805 similarly the sand field current is 5 ampere this series field current is 805 ampere right because this IA and IAC both are same for long shun. Now the all the values are substituted only this RA is available so that you can easily calculate the RA right. So RA as well as RSC these two values are not known. So 34,782.607 equal to this 805 is taken commonly so that RA plus RSC these two values are simplified that is equal to 14,500. Now this value equal to 805 eight square that one relation is available RA equal to 2 RSC one relation is given so that this RA is replaced by 2 RSC plus RSC into 14,500. So by adding this we will get 3, 3 times of series resistance 3 RSC right so that we can go for the further simplification. So this value, this value is brought in the left hand side. So it is minus that is equal to 8 naught square this value into RSC right. Now this value divided by this value will give the RSC. By simplifying the expression we will get the series resistance 0 0.01043 ohm right. So we got the resistance of the series field is 0 0.01043 ohm. Already one relation is given RA equal to 2 into RSC. So 2 into 0 0.01043 that is nothing but 0 0.02086 ohm. So now we calculated the armature resistance. One, one, one of the question we calculated the armature resistance. Now we need to find the maximum power, power at the maximum efficiency. Now we will calculate the constant loss constant loss is nothing but stray loss plus sun field copper loss because stray loss and sun field copper loss stray loss is already given mechanical and magnetic loss 12000 kilowatt that is 12000 into 12 into 10 to the power 3 12 kilowatt right 12 into 10 to the power 3 plus sun field copper loss isk into into ra so that's 5 square into 100 so this uh, by simplifying we got 14,500 watts, this 14,500 watts. So the constant loss equal to 14,500 watts. So the current at the maximum efficiency, the formula is available, square root of WC divided by RA, WC is nothing but a stray loss, constant loss, right. So the WC value we calculated 14,500, RA also we calculated. So 0 0.02086 into square root is there. So that is nothing but 833.73 ampere, the load current at the maximum efficiency. So this is the condition for load current. This is the formula for finding the load current and maximum efficiency. The maximum efficiency will occur at constant loss equal to variable loss. When the constant loss equal to variable loss, this at that time we are for, uh, obtaining this formula. Now we got the load current at the maximum value from that we can find the maximum power. So power at the maximum efficiency equal to V into IL at maximum efficiency. So V is 500 so IL at maximum efficiency is 833.73 ampere. So that is nothing but 4,16,865 watts. So it can be written as 416.865 kilowatt right we can write it in a kilowatt. So in this problem we calculated the armature resistance as well as the power at the maximum efficiency. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notification, soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.